ECC, or Error Correction Code Memory, is a type of RAM that automatically detects and corrects memory errors via an extra memory chip. These chips can be spread across one or both sides of the ECC RAM. Valued by those who store and manage critical data on workstations and servers, ECC RAM is supposed to have a much lower failure rate and thus cause fewer crashes. If you have installed ECC RAM, the Passmark ECC tester allows you to know whether the error correcting capabilities are functioning as expected. The ECC tester can be used to verify if a computer equipped with ECC RAM responds correctly when a memory transfer is corrupted, as well as monitoring the voltages on a RAM stick. With the ECC tester you can generate errors in both the error correction and data lines, customize errors to be either correctable single bit or non-correctable double bit, as well as create periodically occurring errors or one-time errors. Read the voltages of the VDD, VPP, VRE, FCA, VTT lines in real time. Design to house your ECC RAM inline on your motherboard. The ECC tester acts as a DDR4 DIMM interposer, used to inject single and double bit errors in real time. To challenge and test the error detection and correction mechanism of machines that have CPU, motherboard and RAM sticks with ECC support. With the included USB connector, users are able to change the ECC tester's settings and monitor voltages on the memory bus. The tester also has four physical buttons, which can be programmed to inject single errors or a sequence of errors when pressed. The Passmark ECC tester is a DDR4 DIMM interposer attached to your motherboard via the memory slot. It is recommended that you first remove the RAM to be tested, connect it to your ECC tester, and then attach both to your motherboard to avoid excess pressure on the motherboard. The ECC tester can be used to diagnose issues related to ECC RAM by injecting memory errors. Memory errors are injected using the provided Windows software command line interface or ECC test application, or by pressing one of the four buttons located along the edges of the ECC tester. Each of the buttons are labelled underneath as either S1, S2, S3 or S4. Verifying your ECC RAM works correctly. If your ECC RAM is functioning correctly, then the computer will identify and report memory corruptions that have been created from the ECC tester. Verifying with Memtest86. While running the tests in Memtest86, any errors related to ECC memory will be detected and displayed in red writing as shown here. To inject an error into Memtest86, while it is running, press a button on the ECC tester that has been configured to generate an error. If you see an ECC-related error message appear in Memtest86 and the software does not crash, then your ECC RAM is functioning correctly. Some operating systems provide information when a memory error is detected and corrected. For Windows 10, this information can be obtained from the Event Viewer program, and this program can be found by typing Event Viewer into the Windows search bar. In Event Viewer, Open the Windows Logs drop-down and click on System to view the reported memory errors. If you are running Linux, the Rasdaemon tools can be used to monitor ECC memory and report both correctable and uncorrectable memory errors. After install and configuration, the errors are reported as seen here. The Windows application ECC Test can be used to configure and interact with the ECC tester from a computer. Let's explore each of the features and options of this application. Device. The device drop-down box will list all the COM ports that an ECC tester has been detected as being connected to. Selecting an option from the list will connect the application to the corresponding ECC tester. 
If none connected is displayed in the box, then no ECC tester is connected to the application. The memory error injection box can be used to send a command to the ECC tester to corrupt the memory lines without having to press the buttons. The memory lines to be corrupted is selected through the data error and checksum error drop-down boxes. And the amount of time the memory line is corrupted is entered in the duration box. Clicking the inject error button will send the command to the ECC tester where the error will be injected. Enable voltage logging. Ticking this box will begin writing the measured voltages to the log window. The rate at which messages are logged can be adjusted by changing the value in the text box. Log window. The log window displays information about when ECC testers are detected and connected, as well as contains the voltage log if enabled. This log can be saved to a file by clicking the Save Log button, and the log can be reset by clicking the Clear Log button. Voltages. The minimum, maximum and average voltage of some RAM lines are monitored from when an ECC tester is connected. These results are displayed in the table here. The table can be reset by reconnecting the ECC tester. And for obtaining real-time voltage values, the voltage logging feature should be used instead. Configuration opens the window where the error generated by the buttons can be customised. The duration is the length of time in milliseconds the data lines will stay corrupted. Number of pulses is the number of times the error will be repeated on a single button press. An interval is the time in milliseconds between errors if more than one is generated. To choose which memory lines are corrupted, the data error and checksum error drop-down boxes are used. The button this setting is attached to can be identified by looking for the button on the ECC tester that has the matching label underneath. To achieve the voltage monitoring and error injection, the ECC tester uses the following DDR4 DIMM pin assignments via the interposer. For memory integrity testing, the pins that can be corrupted include the DQ0 and DQ2 pins for the data signal and the CB0 and CB2 pins from the check bit signal. For voltage measurement testing, the pins that can be monitored are the VDD, VPP, VREFCA and VTT pins. The location of each of these pins on a DDR4 RAM stick is shown in this image. The ECC tester, when paired with the comprehensive ECC test software, can verify if your ECC RAM is detecting and correcting errors as expected. For more information or further details on the ECC tester, visit passmark.com.